Okay, I'm here at home, and I want to tell you I got something really exciting planned for this weekend. I am packing my bags and getting ready to go to Chicago for a Fan Expo, where I am hoping to get to meet TV and movie legend Michael J. Fox. I'm really excited about it. Uh, been looking forward to this for a few months now. Never met him before, but I've been a fan of his since the... I guess the mid 80s when uh, Family Ties came on our TV and uh, he came into our living rooms then as Alex Keaton and uh, he really won us over when it came to Back to the Future. I mean, wow, what a movie, what a performance. Michael J. Fox, he, he really just, his role, he made that movie. You know, it was supposed to have been Eric Stoltz, but a decision was made to recast with Michael J. Fox and I just think that just kind of sealed history you know uh no offense to eric stoltz who's also a fine actor but it just seemed like that role was just tailored and and made for michael j fox and i found this video looking through some old home videos the other night these are from my family's home video collection and this is me in 1990 when i was about 13 watching hey, back what? to the Good future As me and my little brother, we wore these movies out. So Look at the mountain of VHS tapes. <laughs> oh, I remember those days. <laughs> There's one more thing I haven't packed yet. My Back to the Future diecast collection right there. And the license plate there I got at the Peterson Auto Museum which is where the uh, Hero DeLorean from the film uh, is at. And I definitely recommend a visit there. And also, you should watch my YouTube video where I vlogged, uh, where I vlogged visiting the DeLorean there. But this is the, the main piece, the Hot Wheels Elite right here. This is coming to Chicago with me, hopefully, uh, to land a Michael J. Fox signature there. So, okay, let's get this thing packed up and go catch our plane. See ya in Chicago.
Chicago Hello. Got a drink to that. You know that movie line? Scott Man Carruthers from Silver Streak. Hello, Chicago. Hello. Got a drink to that. Yeah. Right, here's my humble abode for the weekend. Staying at the A loft. Interesting. I get spoiled with some really nice hotel rooms uh, with a lot of the bands and the, the people that I work for. And uh, this one here, since this is on my pocket, uh, it's a nice middle of the road hotel. Still uh, fairly nice. Not quite Four Seasons Ritz Carlton nice like I'm spoiled and used to, but that's okay. Stay in a lot of places like this too. And it's gonna do the job just perfectly fine. Okay, here we are, convention center. Fixing to go in. Just came through the check-in process, very quick and easy. And now we're heading to the convention floor. All right, just enter the convention hall and you've got to see this stuff. Absolutely Disneyland. So much fun, especially if you're a nerd like me and into this. Just amazing. It's Ghostbusters World. Ghostbusters and Star Wars are in the house. stuff is so much fun so much fun now we're in gaming world all the video gamers well pretty much done with fan expo they're cleaning up the floors and we are leaving here but i am very happy right now because i'm proud to report that this happened So yeah, going home with a smile on my face, came here and accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. So, <laughs> Fan Expo is now in the books. We're uh, closing it down.
Okay, I'm now back home and winding down from quite a trip. A lot of memories made, a little exhausted, a lot of long hours of standing in lines and stuff, but I still can't believe that this has happened. That happened. It was uh, really neat that for a few moments in time, you know, as divided as uh, as our country is right now, that everybody that I was kind of around and saw in the lines and stood in the lines with, everybody was kind of put all their politics aside and everybody just remembered a movie for a little while and talked about, you know, what that movie meant to them over the years, talked about what that movie meant to their families. And I think that's why that movie has so much magic. It's all about kind of you know, the family thing. Uh, the guy that wrote Back to the Future, Bob Gale, wrote it, got the idea for the movie when he went home and started thumbing through his parents' yearbook and found his dad was the class president. And Bob Gale said he wasn't really a popular guy at all and he'd never even hung out with the class president. He said, so I wonder if I went to school with my dad if we would have been friends. He said, you know, I just... I don't know it's just really weird so i think that's where he got the idea for the time travel and what all happens in it but that movie has really touched a lot of people and meant a lot and i saw a huge number of people myself included uh just having fun and talking about a movie and and uh just enjoying things and uh i've got to show you this mission accomplished i did get the DeLorean sign, then it's going to go right back in its spot on the shelf. But look at this. Signed by Marty McFly himself. Michael J. Fox on the hood and uh, Christopher Lloyd there signed it on the roof. Now I'm ready to uh, return it to its rightful spot up there on the shelf. And... Uh, also, you know, Michael J. Fox does this for his foundation. He raises, you know, money and awareness for the uh, Michael J. Fox Foundation. I'm uh, in an incredibly good mood at being so pumped up and so excited uh, about, you know, what I just went through this weekend that I've decided uh, I'm going to make a donation to the, uh, to the Michael J. Fox Foundation. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. The, uh, the Michael J. Fox website was uh, very easy to use. I made a donation uh, for the Parkinson's research. And uh, I encourage you, if you can, to do the same. And uh, still can't believe that just happened. <laughs> That's just been crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But there's someone that I shared Back to the Future with when I was a kid. That was me and my little brother. We wore it out. My little brother uh, is no longer with us. He's uh, riding that silver DeLorean up in the sky. And uh, I feel I still gotta let him know about this good news. Okay, I just had to come here at sunset. Beautiful day here in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And I just had to share this this great news with my brother because I got a feeling he would be flipping out if he knew what I did this weekend, you know. And, uh... Look at this, Josh. Can you believe this happened, man? This all happened this weekend, man. I figured you would really flip out if you knew what I did this weekend. sure was a weekend I'll never forget and my brother here is buried very close right over there where them people are walking uh, that's the final resting place of Johnny Cash and June Carter Cash right there in fact I'll take you over there and show you here in a moment not to pull away too much from my back to the future uh, madness that's going on this weekend but
Yep, JR Cash and June Carter Cash for us right here. Another Nashville legend that I knew. But in closing this out, I just want to say one thing that I think was one of the coolest lines that Doc Brown says in the whole Back to the Future trilogy is, the future is whatever you make it. So make it a good one. I love that line. I try to live my life by that line. You try to live your life by that line too. The future is whatever you make it, so make it a good one. Thank you.